Okay, so when we're solving var equations of variables on both sides, we might have an equation that looks like this. I'd actually like you to write this equation two times because we're going to solve it two different ways. The big question I get with these is how do I know which thing to subtract or add first? And it doesn't really matter. So when I look at this equation here, I see 7x minus 2, and on this side I see 5x plus 6. I want to think about this as combining like terms across the equal sign. I need to get this 5x to be on the same side of the equation as the 7x or get the 7x on this side with the 5x. Do you see what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. And what we do is we just decide which one we're going to subtract first. I would like to subtract the 5x first because if I subtract the 7x, I know I'm going to end up with a negative. If I had subtracted this over here, it would have been 5x minus 7x would have left me with a negative 2x. I'm taking this one away because it's going to be a positive. Do you guys see what I mean by that? And we'll do the opposite over here in a second. So you'll see it doesn't really matter. That leaves me with 2x minus 2 is equal to 6. Anybody want to guess what the next step is? Add 2. I want to get that 2 on the same side of the equation with the 6. So all the numbers with a variable, so this coefficient of 2x is going to be on the left and whole numbers on the right. I'm going to be left with 2x equals 8. And then I'm going to divide by 2. And my x is going to equal 4. I want to do it the other way so you see it doesn't really matter which one you start with. Over here we started with the 5x. What if we start with the 7x? Mm -hmm. Just like I don't really like working with fractions, but I can. I don't really like working with negatives if I can avoid them, but we're going to end up with a negative here and it's okay. 7x minus 7x is going to 0. We're going to have negative 2 over here is equal to negative 2x plus 6. Question? So, so basically what you do is you choose one of the, uh, the numbers with the variable next to it and you subtract the two other ones? I could have started with the 2 or the 6 also. Okay. What do I have over here that I need to get rid of? Okay. So I'm going to subtract it. Negative 2 and negative 6 is negative 8 equals negative 2x. I'm going to divide by that negative, and since everything is negative, when I divide, I'm going to end up with a positive, so I'm going to end up with 4 equals x. Same answer. Doesn't matter which way I start. I could have started with the numbers instead. I could honestly do them all at the same time, and I'll show you that in another problem. We're going to check this one before we move on, though. Let's go back to our very original equation. Everywhere we see an x, we're going to plug in a 4. So 7x is going to be 7 times 4 minus 2 equals 5 times 4 plus 6. Max, you feeling okay? What's 7 times 4? 28 minus 2 equals 26. And now I'm going to work the right side of the equation. 5 times 4, 20 plus 6, and I get 26 equals 26. I actually don't usually work them completely like this. I'll show you how I would normally do it in a second. This is just to show you step by step. 
a slightly more challenging problem. Let's start with 4 minus 6x plus 4x equals, I know, negative 1 minus 5 times 7 minus 2x. Okay, when I look at this equation, I realize I've got stuff I need to do on the left and stuff I need to do on the right before I can start solving for x. So we're going to simplify each side of the equation before we start trying to move stuff. On the left side, what are my common, my like terms? I've got a negative 6x and a positive 4x. What are those going to simplify to? So I have 4 minus 2x on the left. because I've got negative 6x plus 4x gives me negative 2x. You guys with me? Yeah. On the right side, I have to distribute this. But I'm not going to do anything with this negative 1 yet, so I'm going to just move it down here. And then I'm going to distribute negative 5 times 7 would be negative 35. Negative 5 times negative 2x is positive 10x. I still have like terms to, to put together over here, don't I? Negative 1 and negative 35 is going to be negative 36 plus 10x. And this is where I usually actually take a shortcut. What do you guys want to move first? 4, negative 2x, negative 36, or 10x? I think the negative 2x also. Let's add 2x to both sides. But before I do that, if I'm moving the 2x from this side to this side, what's going to have to leave here? And how am I going to move it? Add it. Yep, do opposite. So positive 36. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm doing both at the same time. Equals. And I'm just going to go from left to right here. 4 plus 36 is going to give me 40. 40. Negative 2x and positive 2x is going to zero out. So all that's left over here is the 40. Negative 36 and positive 36 zero out. What are we left with over here? 12x. And I'm going to divide by 12. This gets back to the question about our homework. 40 over 12 can be simplified, but I don't need to turn it into a mixed number. I'm just going to divide out what can be divided out. When I look at that, I'm like, well, they're both even. I could divide by 2. Is there anything larger? 40 divided by 4 is 10. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And there we go. Simple enough? Mind blown. Mind blown, really? <laughs> okay, on the left side of your page, I'm going to have you practice two problems before you start on your own. But first, let's just put the problems down here you're going to do today as your practice. Again, this is 2 4 in the book. It is on page 103. And I want you doing numbers 2 through 9 and 15 to 26. You always do the work for homework on a separate piece of paper. But sometimes I'll have you do practice problems in your notebook that we do on the left page. So right now we're on page 15 on the right. We're going to move to page 14 on the left. And I want you to do these two practice problems to see how you're doing before you start. Why is it So try those two practice problems and we'll check them in a minute. And then the 
problems we need to do are on page 103.